Well, I think we we have to look at all that has happened, uh, not just the measures that have been recently announced. I mean, the, the economy needs different types of interventions to address different problems. Mm. The recent measures that were announced in the last week, including the passage of the E-Levy, they, they primarily are going to show up government finances okay. and ensure that um, our deficits and our debts are properly managed. So that's that side. I think this government has had a lot of programs to help grow the real sector of the economy. Okay. The, the flagship program, the one district, one factory, and the planting for food and jobs. The, the president did speak a little bit about that, but not in terms of new measures or new ways to strengthen those programs. And for me, I think that's, that's the area that was a little bit lacking. Okay. The president spoke about how successful the planting for food and jobs has been and, uh, you know, gave some update on what's happening for one district, one factory. But, you know, we, we all know that there are challenges. Last last year, there were some challenges with um, fertilizer supplies. There were some challenges with, um, you know, rain not coming at the predicted time. Mm. So the fact that we are having one, dis uh, one village, one dam, and yet when the rain is delayed, it affected food production, which mm -hmm. has subsequently reflected in the inflation numbers, tells us that there are a few things that have to be addressed. And I wish that the president had touched on those rather than simply saying that the program has been highly successful. Okay. Because those, those programs, they are sound policies, mm -hmm. but we cannot deny the fact that it, it has not been working as well as it could have. Okay. So it was almost as if um, the minority or even uh, the the population expected that he would highlight the the war in Russia and Ukraine as a major reason. Now, this fight started a little over two months ago, just a few days over two months ago. Do you think that the amount of uh, impact the government keeps saying that has impacted our economy, is it is it realistic or is quite far-fetched? Some of the impact that have been mentioned, we cannot deny. I think the recent spike in uh, prices of fuel, uh, you know, is largely attributed to that. Even though the currency depreciation has been part, we cannot really attribute the currency depreciation to uh, the war in Ukraine. Okay. But the president also did mention some areas, some other areas in which the war is affecting the Ghanaian economy. He spoke about um, how we import a huge chunk of wheat flour mm -hmm. from Russia yeah. and how we also import a lot of fertilizer from Russia. Yeah. So I think that's, that those are true. I mean, the fertilizer thing, is in, we, we've been having challenges with our fertilizer all the way going back to last year. So I'm not sure that any challenges we've had with fertilizer, we can attribute it to, to the war. But the other thing is that, I mean, those particular things just tells us how, how much we haven't planned properly. Mm -hmm. If we knew we are going to have a planting for food and just for so many years, and we've been, he's been in power for six years, why haven't we developed our own fertilizer manufacturing plant? And that, you know, when they, during the COVID, there were some issues with that, and now with Russia. So it just exposes that, you know, our dependence on foreigners for some critical things uh, have to be addressed. Uh, it's good that he mentioned that we are trying to address the issue about vaccines and dependence on foreigners for vaccines with the establishment of the National Vaccine Institute and uh, what, you know, what aspect to be addressed. But I think that particular intervention needs to be extended to other sectors. I think agri and food production is very crucial for us. And we need to start thinking about that. The, the whole idea that we depend on Russia for wheat flour is, is just, why it may be true, it's just not acceptable, especially when you have a planting for food and jobs and one district one.